going on everybody welcome back to the channel and to what is what i thought was going to be a new video but gotta go back into luma fusion 101 real quick i don't know if anyone noticed but with part four well, actually i do know if several of you noticed i know of at least one person who told me about it but probably a lot more that noticed and didn't say anything and that is that in part four half the video had no video and when you're doing something on color correcting video is very very important to use so the fact that it wasn't there was really painful and a really unforgiving mistake and honestly i could have easily fixed it if i would have just handled it a little bit better and done the right steps so let's go into the intro i'll go ahead and really quick explain what happened and how to keep it from happening again Okay guys, first and foremost, I just want to go ahead and jump on the sword here and say I'm sorry uh, for the, the, I believe, dozen or so people who watched the LumaFusion 101 Part 4 video without any actual video. I I really screwed up on that one. I, I made a mistake that no one should make and I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to keep you guys from making that same mistake. I'm making this video. So what I did was, first off, I made a couple of them. The first mistake I made was trying to do all seven videos at one time. That really overtaxed me mentally, physically, and overtaxed my ability to, to, to work one at a time because that, that much video is a lot, lot, lot of data, takes up a lot of space on my devices. So I had to work out on the fly a new organizational technique to have videos on an SS, uh, um, SSD drive and then to have some on my phone some on iCloud like it really got very confusing and I got very tired very fast and because I was tired I got lazy because I was lazy I didn't watch a video I should have watched before uploading it so basically what had happened is I had done most of the editing of this on my phone, but I needed to do some stuff on my computer with it. So I transferred it over, or I transferred over a uh, project package with trimmed clips, which is fine. It's a good thing to do. It's, it's why they have it there. It helps you to really navigate and be able to use multiple systems. But what happened was one of the clips didn't trim quite right which I should if I would have watched it one last time before hitting export I would have caught it and I would have fixed it right then and there but because I had watched it seven times before transferring the project package over I was just like ah, I've already watched it I know it's right I'm just gonna go ahead and upload it not the best idea because we see what happened I had to actually go recreate it put a link in the comments for everybody while it sat for about 24 to 48 hours for YouTube to verify that there was no uh, footage on there that was copyrighted by someone else. So it really became a, a hassle. And then I had to delete the original video and that put part four out of order and just created a much bigger hassle than really there ever needed to be. So real quick, I'm gonna show you exactly what it did. We're gonna jump in LumaFusion, look at the clips, and I'm gonna show you how I fixed it. Okay, so I've already imported the project package, and as you can see, everything is here. And this is pretty much what I did when I went through it. I just scrubbed through really, really fast. I made sure that all of the cuts here, all of these edits were in place and everything was looking the way I thought it should look. Mm, I didn't even notice that when it went out. Nobody, oh yeah, I did, okay. This is actually where I paid most of my attention when I came back, was to make sure that that looked right. So I didn't notice that right here, all of this was blank. And this is what I sent out. So when, I, when somebody pointed it out to me, I immediately like, went back in, downloaded the project package back into LumaFusion and started taking a look at it. And I I got to this point and I just, I didn't know what it was. So I went back over here into my imported section. You see where the, the package is for LumaFusion 
and I went ahead and opened that up and I looked through and this is what really caught my eye is my screen recording part which is where that video any video you see of here it was actually cut into two parts so when it trimmed it it trimmed that into two parts it actually excuse me it trimmed everything down and made it a separate part but what happened was when it trimmed the screen recording you notice right here this one is just everything that was trimmed in but there was a flaw here and it's got some of the footage um, inside the bracket some of it like in and out points and the other one doesn't have any in and out points so I went ahead and I brought that up and actually I've moved this since then but this is what it looked like so my in and out points my brackets were actually moved all the way to the left and the footage started halfway in the middle so all I had to do to fix it was literally just click on this slide it all the way to the end my brackets now fit perfectly and if I hit play it comes in right where it should and it will match up with the audio so then all I had, had to do at that point was take this and drop it in now make sure you don't just see how the the box around is white you don't want that you want that box to be yellow because with that when the box is yellow what you're doing is you're actually up oh, see they're not the exact same size so let's go ahead and check this again that is quite interesting. Go ahead and hit play. As you come back to the, ooh. What is this? Nine minutes and 12.12 .12 seconds. So there's, you see here in the middle of the clip, I'm seeing how long this clip is. We know that this is the trimmed clip. This is the same one. So let's just go ahead. And when you see this yellow part right here, say 9, 12, 12. Okay, now I have a keyboard, so I can hit my right arrow, which will let me go one frame at a time. If you wanna move one frame at a time, like I said, I have a keyboard. If you just go right into the center of your viewer's window and just swipe your finger left or right, it'll show you a, a small arrow pop up, and that's telling you which direction you're going, and you're only going one frame at a time. So I'm gonna go one frame at a time until I reach the very beginning of it go ahead and bring my bracket back over okay that's 9 11 05 we need a little bit more than that so this is gonna take a second it's gonna take a steady hand and some patience to get it right Let's check this because with it being two different frame rates, that might be what the issue is. You start right there. Okay, so we need to match that shot. <laughs> See if that matches it. Whoopsie. Keep time and line duration. Let's see what this does to our footage, our video. That you can download from their website. Ah. Undo, no. I'm not even on screen. All right, so, so this square. This okay, so everything seems to be lined up now and working perfectly. It didn't take this much work the first time. I don't know why it took that much this time, but it is what it is. But yeah, we have it all done now and we can go ahead 
and re-export back up to YouTube. Okay, and that was it. It wasn't a lot of work. It wasn't even a lot of time. This actually took longer than it took me to do it initially. And it really, the the only thing that was really injured was my pride and my uh, reputation. So I know that some of the people went back and watched part four when I got it put back up because I have actually talked to people about it. But I know that I probably lost some viewers and possible subscribers and that some people didn't get the information that I was trying to give them and all of that really hurts. And all of that could have been fixed if I would have just taken some time. So if you take nothing else away from this, guys, that's what I want you to remember. Just take your time with it, because if I would have taken the 15 minutes to watch that video from beginning to end before uploading it, then I wouldn't have had to take another 20 minutes to fix it, another 10 minutes to upload it, another couple of minutes to put the the link in and then another 48 hours to to let it sit it would have all just been done right away and i would have been okay that's all i got for you guys um this is it this is literally the last for luma fusion i prom or luma fusion 101 i promise anything else any other mistakes i made i'll just make a completely separate video about it Keep hitting me with those comments, so guys, I got a few really good ideas on things to do from the comments, so I know what my next video is going to be, and I'm just really excited to keep going with this for you. So yeah, until next time, guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep editing. God bless, guys.